All right. Finally, I think The Walking Dead. Finally get into it. Standard. All right, let's play. Up, warrior. Hey, Morgan. What's up? Racist look. He's suspicious. Well, he's black. I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. We got what looks like a 1091E near Beach Street, 25. All cars ask to keep on the lookout for a 91E in the area. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from making then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. Family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. <laughs> gotcha. Still there? Sure is. Good. I'll try to be quick with my decisions. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. Yeah, I'm prepping for. Uh, you meet your wife and nephew. days. You want to know how I see it? Sure. <laughs> Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. 
Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Hey, so he enough. stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Damn. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This oh, other shit. Time myself out that window. Just in case. Take this. The officer's shotgun is over there. No, I can take it. Looks empty. Yeah, put the shotgun shell in there, fool. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Of course. Officer? God damn. Officer? Oh my god, it's gonna fucking... Take... Oh. My God, he's gonna fucking eat my hand. <laughs> Drop it again. Officer. Oh shit. Oh shit! No! No! What in the hell? 
Yo, that shot. Get, get it. Get it. Oh fucking boy. You better shoot that guy. Don't make me do this! Oh, you done. Dead. <laughs> he just blew his brains out. Uh, where do I go now? Uh, oh, is there this mysterious figure? Somewhere? Where? What? Oh, I see it. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting. Yeah, you shot him. Dumb. I think zombies. I think these aren't like World War Z zombies. <laughs> I hate playing scary games because I scream. Anybody's home. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. What? What did you think about? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg way it is. Help! I'm screaming for help. Dude, he's walking so slow. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yeah, that's a good idea. in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or 
one of them. Uh, these people may need more help than I do. Fuck. Uh, that could be like period blood all over you now. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. We'll give him some water. Can't eat thirsty. Talkie, take it. Yeah, you take that walkie talkie. How do you use my items, guys? Is there a way to use your items or is it just there whenever you need it? Maybe it's just there whenever you need it, huh? a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Mm. Mm. Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. What's that beeping? Maybe there's something on there. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's kind of sad. Oh man. The feels. Daddy? Feeling. Huh? What? Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. It's probably up the stairs. Where are your parents? How old are you? <laughs> they creeper. took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> ah! 
Oh shit! Oh shit, Q, 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 Q! I knew it! I fucking knew it! Here, bud. That hammer. Get that hammer. Oh shit. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Or two easier. <laughs> Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Oh. I bet think that dead. might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's yeah. go. Stay close to me. Yo, slow down, Clementine. Damn. I'm a cripple. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? He won't let's go. I won't leave you though. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Such a nice guy. Why did he get arrested in the first place? Hey man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... a babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Alright. Yeah, how is he strong? So strong with that leg, but he trips over, over a puddle, but twice. Ha, <laughs> that fine. Won't work. This 
babysitters go? I'd say her parents owe you a tip. Just some guy. Who found a little girl. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. Wow. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Huh. Yes. Okay, then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. Amputated. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <gasps> Is that Herschel from the show? Is that Herschel from the show? How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grow up and make it. We I hit a guy. Questions. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping oh. in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're done here. So we're gonna kill her. So I didn't catch your name, suspicious. darling. Clem, Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. How'd I fuck hey, up? Dad. So I'm thinking, first what? thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows <laughs> how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. All you do is wrap a dirty rag on it. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. 
Did I fuck up, guys? Did I mess up? Is he gonna it smells like. He's gonna think I'm a rapist. Isn't he? I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> Duty. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. They're in Atlanta, Savannah. It's not that far. Same state. Georgia. Is this is this the Herschel from the show, guys? I love Seems like that's the <laughs> barn where they kept all the dead people. <laughs> oh man! I bought it on sale on same. It was on sale for hey, get up. Eight dollars or fifteen dollars? <laughs> forgot which one. On Steam. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Yeah, for five episodes. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah. Nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! He's Duck gonna and die, isn't he? I can tell. Duck's gonna die. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Is that weed, girl? Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? Oh, okay. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Gotcha, I want to ask her about city. Go back. Hey, how did you handle getting through the city? Can you just drove? We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some, just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? 
Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. <laughs> but they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Oh, whoa, we get all political. Things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Uh, maybe that was not the right choice, because you got all political and tips on her. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. <laughs> I have no Would've idea. Would've liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's dolphin. biting and paying. Kachi wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Go talk to this boy. Go talk to Duck. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Oh, fuck. Sean's still working on that fence. I'll Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Sean's still working on that fence. Same thing, huh? Where do I go? Back. Why? Guys, can I just go up the stairs or something? Nope. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay. Go talk to the boy. I did talk to the boy. All he did was wave. Oh, oh, there's a talk button. Ah. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Okay. And do I talk to? Uh, hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. 
I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. <clears throat> and Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, time to go barn. That boy creepy. Duck is creepy as hell. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't done. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. Oh shit. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, on foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> if you told so, me man. 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. Hey, Sheila. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Oh, Parents, shit. Wife, girlfriend? I told them that I'm listening close. No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Kill him, though. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Damn, talk about hospitality. You have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. He ran. No! I'll get my gun! Weapon. Sean. Got fucked up. Oh, he's hit it. He's gonna get it. Oh, fuck. I gotta get, get this boy.
What? Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Damn. I, I should have saved Sean. Zuck was dumber than a bag of hammers. Sean would have been more resourceful or useful. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. <laughs> Look. Oh, the hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Do it. No. Oh my god. Do you kill Duck did that anyway? Oh Duck died anyway. I would have been pissed. Run! We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. <gasps> We're stuck. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Just go. just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Oh. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over Wait, my what? dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh! I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten Sit alive! Sit down or else. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. Sit down! Oh, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. Little boy! 
Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <laughs> Fucking floor every time. Clumsiest. Oh shit. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, uh. 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 Oh no! No! Oh my god! You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Is that, is that Glenn? Died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! I don't know why I'm smiling. <laughs> he was such an asshole, though. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. <laughs> There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Yo, she's so salty right now. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Oh man. Well, you, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. 
and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Oh man, Lee wants to go balls deep in Carly, I can tell. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Hey, factions. What's up? Let's go talk to this fools over here. Give it to Clementine. She's hungry. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. What do you use money for? Really? How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins. The Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. So, Fongo, so glory. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case oh, they weren't man. really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Let's give it that energy bar. Ah. Just Ooh, batteries. Here, equipment time. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Should I give the other one? Should I give the other one to uh to this girl? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Mm-hmm. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Tom you just give her batteries. Is she gonna fix it herself? Alright. Let's try to check the office. Oh, it's here. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. Her she's a tough dead. one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. He... This kid looks like the kid from Toy Story. Andy? Remember that? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? 
It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Man, I'm so loyal, guys. Ice cream. More. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, a little bit now. We'll do our damnedest. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hold on one second, guys. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those... Things out there. All right, guys. Sorry. Let's go to the office. Blood, you might fall again. This door leads to the back alley. How you doing? Okay. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well. Maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how Take to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Mm. There's a photo over there. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Poor guy. Just 
really take that cane, though. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. We gotta find the keys. All right, let's go outside then. Go have a look around outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay. Shit's about to go down, guys. one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Maybe you should make a lot of fucking noise. Rawr. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Oh. Are you okay? It's the feel. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh, friends? Family? They around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. Let's head back inside. Okay. 